attorney because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, this is the E-mini S&P. We're in the midst of a three-day rally, um, actually Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. And as you can just today, Tuesday, this is a three-day rally because there's Friday. Anyway, we're setting right at the 382 retracement of the high that we made back on April the 1st, if that is, in fact, anything. Let's take a quick look here at the uh, Dow Jones. Uh, let's do the NASDAQ next because we are, you might be able to see something real exciting right now because we are within just a tick or two of the exact uh, 382. Let's just get this on the hourly basis so you folks can see it. I mean, I, I believe in these numbers so much. <laughs> you can see we're almost there. That's the 382 from the high we made back here on the 11th. So we came down hard, and that number comes in at 7639. I've, I've got my beeper on to see if that gets hit. And also, if you look at this closely, you can see you do have a, a, a ABCD structure here that uh, would get you up to that same level. We'll draw that in right now. We'll be doing a lot of these on uh, Friday's show, but this is the kind you uh, – this is like mother god and country stuff. You remember that? You've heard that story before, haven't you? Okay, now let's move on and we will take a look at the Russell next because uh, they're all doing very much the same thing. And uh, that doesn't always occur. Let's get the hourly up here. And uh, there you can see the Russell is setting at the 382 right now, as you can see. That's the 382 of the high made back in April 1st, uh, back in April, folks. We're actually a couple points above it, but uh, we do have an ABCD structure in here also. And this has been the strongest rally we've had during this whole area. Nothing's been as strong as this one. So this is where it's supposed to stop. Does that mean it's going to? Uh, of course not. Of course not. That's why you have to get in there and say, well, we're just going to have to use a stop, and that's all we can do. Now, someone asked a question about the copper, and I wanted to bring this up here to try to answer it if I could. Here's what we're watching here. Uh, in the copper, the reason why I was pointing out to you this three, this uh, ABCD pattern, folks, this, the same ABCD patterns on the way up, okay, that got you to this level right here at 355. This is the same ABCD patterns that we look for on the downside. That that's all it is. I mean, there's nothing. I don't do anything fancy. I was on uh, All Star Charts today with uh, uh, JC uh, Parrots. And uh, he, uh, you know, he, he said, gee, this, this is too simple. And I said, yeah, I know. And anyway, they, they wanted to know about the history of, you know, how long I've been in the business and where I've, you know, different places I've traded and stuff like that. No one cares about uh, ups and downs and whether things are going to go up, up, down or sideways. Okay, we'll get rid of this one right here. And uh, we'll see here. I wanted to show you a really neat trade that we had last night. And it was uh, worked out pretty good. Let's just get it up here. Let's try the hourly chart because that's what we did it on. Hold on right here. Okay, here was our 382 pattern right here. And uh, we got filled right here at 52. It went down and dropped $1,500, folks. And now look what it's doing. And this is still a downtrend. But look what's happened now. You've got an ABCD for me. Now, if we were doing a, if we were doing a show here, which I'm not doing one today, but I'll be doing one Friday, I would be selling it right there because you completed an ABCD at this level, and I don't have to risk very much at that point. I only have to risk about 40 pips. So that's what I would be looking at. So uh, anyway, these are just really big, big markets that are having you know big things happening to them each day. Now, the most important chart I'm going to show you today, folks, I sent it out to you in an email I, in a video, but I hope you got it because I really thought that this was – this was the most important chart I've seen. Well, they're all important to me. But I wanted to show you this because we talk about this quite a bit, and I don't emphasize it as much as I probably should have. 
But let's, yeah, Johnny's raising his hand. Yeah, Johnny, I get you. Hold on here. There's silver right here. I'm going to do an hourly because I think that's what I did it on. No, it wasn't. It had to be a four hour. So let's get over here and we will grab this on a four hour chart. And there it is, folks. Look at that from the low back here in February with the whole world dropping it from $3, $2 and a half. Okay, two dollars and a half it drops, and it stops within ten cents of the exact three eight two. That's why I said, son of a gun, ought to start looking for a place to buy the gold. And if you looked at gold real closely intraday, it made a gorgeous three drive path. Listen, since we're doing that, we'll just do that right now so we can uh, pay close attention to it. Get to, that doesn't mean these things are going to last that long. It just means they might last a little longer than we might think. If I can only find the gold chart now. Hold on one second. I've got too much stuff going on here. Uh, let's do uh, window tile vertical. And the gold will be, uh, hello operator, where are you gold? Uh, I am, come on, starts with a G. Here it is. Okay, here's gold right here. Now this was on a short term time frame, but that's what I do when I'm trading, you know, shorter term. Now you can see here the 382 on this whole move comes in here at 2352. Maybe that's going to be it. But here's the ABCD making new lows just right when I uh, hoping that it well it <laughs> the trouble was it was uh it was 3 o'clock in the morning here that it did this, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. There's your A, B, C, D pattern coming in. You make a new low right at this level and then on the way up. Okay, so what we should do is we should get to this level right here. But, you know, stop and think. You know, we dropped uh, in from Monday to Tuesday, we dropped $150. So there should be some people willing to exit their positions up here at 2352 looking at that okay so I am uh, that's what I'm trying to explain to you that that's what we're that's what we're trying to do here um, I had a very interesting conversation with those folks at uh, at uh, all-star charts they've got all kinds of uh, technical oscillators and stuff that you know they said where where are your indicators and all that stuff and I said I, I I only use this and all I did folks I'll just give you a heads up I think you'd enjoy this get this out of here I started with uh, the fact that what was happening in the gold market the gold did the same thing last night that it did the other day there's the 22nd you see this it did the same thing it did do the same thing in the 23rd it kept doing the same thing but we made us we made a slight well, a nice bottom with a big ABCD there okay the other one I wanted to show them was the long-term weekly on gold why and they asked me what are these red lines and they had never even no one had ever even heard of Gartley or anybody you know anybody like that so I think they probably could like to understand a little bit more about it you can see that two patterns here the good part folks is if we if this is all we get on the downside and gold goes back up from here shut the front door and raise the rent you're not going to believe what you see so let's keep it civil and we'll be right back 10-4 Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. folks as you can see here with this e-mini S&P we rallied 144 points the biggest rally back here was at 165 that was uh, you know the uh, uh, secondary high so this is a big deal but uh, if uh, we I, I know this probably won't happen but I'm just giving you a little heads up because of the importance of these numbers that we're looking at if this market would close it's well my goodness if it closes down here that they couldn't do that because that'd be 80 points down in a day, and that hardly ever moves there. If we close below that uh, after a three-day rally, oh my goodness, boys and girls, you're going to look at something really nasty here on uh, Thursday and Friday. Today's the 23rd. It's a Saturday. Golly, gee, where I'm <laughs> <to> Tuesday. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, that's what I'm looking at here. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but be prepared for it. Just in case, uh, you know, it does. It's it's not always a big deal. Okay, now let's move on here uh, to check off with the uh, we we I would have bought this, which I did, uh, sold this uh, here at uh, 15 on this. Now my stop here was going to be uh, right above this level right here, so I'm not going to risk more than 60 points. And my my profit objective on this would be 60 points too. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move this down to right about there. Wow, that's not very much. But if it gets there, at least I'll know I did something right. That's always a good thing, isn't it? Okay, now let's get back to the soybeans. Come, someone asked me about the soybeans. I wanted to... Soybeans had a really nice run here the last couple of days. Get these up here. You can see here we've broken out to the upside, okay? The problem is, folks, the high that we made here last night was exactly 382 off of this spot right here. So in order for the soybeans to really be good, and this to me is, is super important, is if it pulls back, you see this is a really nice line. Now, if it can just do this, this is what you'd like to see. Remember, this is a, I can't believe it's a Tuesday. It feels like it's a, it's like the end of the month or something. Well, it is the end of the month. If you get something like this, as long as it doesn't violate this on the downside, okay, that would make this super important and because that would make it, especially if we got to there, it, that would make this a 20-man line. And 20-man, he did a lot of work on this. This line like this acts as a fulcrum. So when prices hit it, whether it's a 618 or whatever, it catapults it. 
market really sharply higher. Here is almost a perfect one right here. You see here the market comes down, almost touches it exactly, and boom, look what happens. If you look at this right here from your low to your high, it comes in right at the 382 and then boom. So we got to be watching the soybeans here really, really closely. That, that's my two cents worth, so we'll see see what's going on uh, uh, with that. So hold on just one second here. We're supposed to have a, a Peter Elides as our guest here uh, on the break, but unfor unfortunately, uh, he, he's real busy. I'm not sure he's going to be able to make it today because these markets are, uh, believe it or not, a little volatile, as they say uh, in the trade, okay? <laughs> all right. I know everybody wants to ask about Tesla. It's in the news all the time, and let's get the I, I think it had some good news or something. It was right setting at that big number. Yeah, there it is right there we were looking at yesterday. See, there was a number. The ABCD on that came in at 39.5, and, and the low was 38.80. It went a dollar lower, and now it is $6 higher. It's almost taken out the previous day. So that was the spot. There was the ABCD. Now, there's other ABCDs that are down here, but that was an ABCD because that – is the factor you can see it right here that's what i look for folks if i find them i use them if i can't find them i move on to something else sometimes not as quickly as i'd like but that's neither here nor there so that's tesla one other chart that they're asking to see is united healthcare so let me get this up this is the market that uh, is the largest of the dow stocks we have setting up here Look at this thing. Can't even go back. And I don't understand how the Dow can be up this much without this stock. It made the 61% and 786 a couple days ago. That was it early. Oh, shut the front door. Let me get rid of this here. Uh, sorry, boys and girls. Give me one other second, and then I'll, I'll try to get it. I've got this all messed up now. Uh, hold on. I've got to cascade these so that I'm able to see the uh, – uh, see the charts that I want to see and the one I wanted to see was uh, National Healthcare and it's not here so let me get up here and pull it up again there it is right there I'm going to get it up okay now there it is I'll try to keep it on the board okay now see that didn't quite get there but we had this you can see the big ABCD to the downside we rallied up uh, came within uh Five dollars of the exact. Now we're we're down a little bit from there, but look at this. The market's down today, and the Dow's up two hundred and some points. So there's other stocks, and those are the ones that are related to the uh, banking, uh, you know, the banking earnings, from what I understand. But again, these are things that are two two and a half points uh, past my pay grade. So <laughs> I'll keep that in mind as we start to look at uh, these things that we're waiting. See, folks, when I do these, I. Uh, how I got in, well, you know how I got into this stuff. But after all those years that I worked at Drexel from 76 to 82 and all the customers, I had 100 customers. And I, we did a lot of, a lot of trading. We made a lot of money. And I, and I was very successful. I was, we did a good job. But I knew, and believe me, we did not have these types of things. We, my, my, prices came off a Reuters machine uh, that basically updated it about every uh, 15 minutes. You got delayed prices, no charts, just delayed prices. If you want a chart, you had to hand make it or you had to go over to Conti Commodity in Westwood. They had an ADP machine, had an uh, automatic data processing that would actually make you a chart for soybeans on a 15-minute basis. It would cost you $5, but you could see what was happening during the day. One of my mentors, Dave Nelson, he was like me. We used the ticker tape, you know, from Western Union, and every 15 minutes we would draw our charts. I was, you know, you, you learn to do it real quick. But uh, that's basically what it came from. Then in 83, uh, uh, this is when the things really started to uh, started to change because we started getting – I had a nice computers out that you could get. Uh, Joe DiNapoli's – I can't remember what he used to sell them at, but uh, it gave you prices. It showed you you could do moving average and you could draw lines on it. You couldn't draw patterns and stuff. That didn't come until about 15 years later. But that's how it all started. And I knew during those six years, because I day traded a lot, because my secretary, she sat there and actually 
you know, did the ticker tape for uh, Treasury bonds. We didn't have the S and P. That was S and P didn't come until April of '82, so it was mainly Treasury bonds and gold. Those were the two. Didn't have crude oil until many, many years later. So we did bonds and uh, the, the gold, and uh, made a living doing it. Made it well. It was okay. Made a good living. Anyway, that's what that's what I was looking at here. Uh, is showing you that now you have all these things in front of you. That's why you're sitting there. Every day when I come in, it's like, oh, here's, here's a break. I'll, I'll finish that when we come back. Uh, I think we got a break coming here right now. Uh, no, I'll finish it. The reason why I did it, I, yep, here it is. <laughs> Sorry, folks. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, I'm looking. I'm just going to give you a hint here because I, uh, 
I've been trading stock indices since they started on April the 16th of 82. Yeah, you know, there at the Merck, but I just wanted to show you the reason why I'm looking at this. You see the ABCD measures to 17, 16, 2, 2. So far, look at this. It's this is this is a four-hour chart, and we haven't been any higher than uh, 17615. Now we, if we're correct, we should pop up here and get this, and that would be like a bell going off because if the markets don't really take off at that point, then I'd say, aha then maybe it's going to break out to the upside. I hope that it does because I'm afraid. Well, I'm not afraid of anything, of course, because I try to use a stop. But if we close down in this area, either today or tomorrow or Friday, oh, dear, you don't want to be involved with that one, boys and girls. Okay, now, why do I do that? Why do I watch it so closely? Because these numbers are so accurate that it's just ridiculous. There's your high right here. That's the high from the 16th. The market comes down, all right? You can see here, this one, it makes a 50% retracement, okay? And it makes a 382 right there. You see that, how it makes the 382? Does the same thing. If you went back and looked at this from your high way back here, there's your 382. It goes through this one by, uh, well, that was pretty big, but we were on the way down. This went through by about 40 points. But this is this is a double because you've got the ABCD plus. You've got the, uh, the number right there, just like we had in the Russell, the S&P. Uh, not the not the Dow Jones because the Dow Jones is just a few stocks and it's a terrible one to try to gauge anything on, but uh, that's uh, neither here nor there. Okay, now let's move on here. I want to cover a couple of currencies here. I get a lot of flack about this trade right here. <laughs> hold on a second. This is the uh, hold on just a minute. This is the uh, the dollar uh, index that's been uh, breaking out to the upside. I was arguing, didn't argue, but I that made it, made the point. They said this is a huge breakout when we went above the 150, 154 level. It's trading 154.70. We sold this at 154.68. So it's basically, uh, it, it's really, you know, hardly moved at all. It's, le it's less than $100 against us. Now, if this is a big breakout, what was this one right here? There's the old, it makes a new high, okay, a little tiny ABCD. I think this is what we're looking at right here. This is my my two cents worth. I, you know, well, might be wrong, but uh, you know, if we get uh, if we get above uh, 150 uh, 155, then I take a 300 dollar loss and I move on. But right now, this is not scary. I hear the people on Bloomberg saying the big breakout in this, uh, <laughs> folks. This was six seven days ago. It hasn't gone anywhere. Backed off a little bit here on Sunday, but that's it. I mean, that, hey, that's I'm just looking at it as a chartist, folks. That's really. Uh, that's really what I'm doing as I, as I watch these things uh, unfold. Okay, okay. I notice here that the, uh, let's get this up here. That the crude oil has gone. Uh, we sold it at 15, and now it's at 17. Remember, our stop here is at 83.73. So I'm not going to worry about that one anymore. Now I want to cover another uh, one of the currencies that people ask me about, and that is the Canadian dollar. I know not many people from. Canada, uh, except for north of where we are, you can see here, we've had that big pattern right here. Uh, the number was at one, let's get it so everybody can see it here. There it is right there. There is, a, it was measured here to 138.52, and the, this was 138.47. So it went right to it based on this ABCD pattern. Now we backed off quite a bit, which is very good, but it's acting pretty nicely considering that it's held up really well. Now, the first thing I would want to do, and this is extremely important because if this is if this is a real breakout in this uh, Canadian dollar uh, or, you know, getting close to it, what you want to be able to do is get this one out of the way here. You see how the 382 of that move told you that that's where we were going. Let's just see if that measured there. I, I missed that one, didn't I? Oh, boy. Well, maybe it works after all. I, maybe these things do work. I don't know. We're going to find out, though, aren't we, boys and girls? We'll find this out on Friday. Now, we've equaled the same move that we had here. This is a potential for a really – these are how charts are set up. There's your AB leg right here. There's the pullback right here. This is what Andrew Lowe did in his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. All he was doing was saying markets repeat over and over again. That's what I, that's what I try to talk about. See, you, you just have to draw this line up like this. You're going to see here, 
move it like this, okay? That's the channel that it's in. And then you just bring this down to right about here. Well, you're going to have to increase the channel to the upside because this is stopped right at a very, very important number. So if you move that up like this and then clone it, let's see if this was, there's, the, there, there's what it's been. It's been in that channel ever since. And that's why it stopped here. Very, very, very important that if it can hold this level, it's got a chance to really, really go on the Canadian dollar. But the, the pattern was perfect in here. But again, you know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. That's the that's the main thing of uh, what we're what we're looking at. We're still flirting with that uh, 4602 number uh, in the uh, Dow, in Nasdaq. So I'm not going to worry about that because that will be uh, that'll be triggered by a uh, a beeper that'll tell me that yeah we did hit it. And so I've shaded it by a little bit. The fact that it's been here for one, two, three, four hours. And it's really surprising. Stop and think. You got all those stocks that are in there. They can't push this thing t 10 to t 20 points. I mean, give me a break. Okay. Now, one other currency, the British pound. Let's get this up. I'm very interesting here. They're all interesting, aren't they, boys and girls? Okay. Here is the British pound. And here it is right here. We hit some pretty good numbers in the British pound today. And look what's happened to the British pound. We pointed that out to you. You can see there was a number we were looking at right in here. We went down. There's your there's your fail safe number right there. Your 1.618. It went about 20 pips below it. The distance here is uh, 23.59. This is only this is only a few hundred dollars in here, folks. So if you'd have bought this, you never would have been stopped out. Your stop had to be at least you know 300 bucks down in this area right here. So that's what we're seeing now. The dollar is selling off. As a matter of fact, when we get to this next break, we'll take a look at the dollar index and uh, get. I hold on one second, please. We have a second 90 degree day this uh, month. Today it's going to be 91 degrees. We're going to finish the month without a hundred degree. In April, it hasn't happened in 17 years, folks. So it's a freezing. Uh, the uh, climate change never came here because it's very cold. Okay, let's look at the high that we had here to the low right here. So far today, it's hit it exactly. That's the exact down. One day like this, do you think that's going to stop it? I doubt that very seriously. But what we will do, and what we will do, is we'll come back and we will look at a couple more charts that people have asked about, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have. 877-927-6648. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. 
Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, uh, just a heads up. Uh, tomorrow is uh, Bill Meridian's. Whoa, wait, tomorrow, and I don't know, tomorrow, Thursday. <laughs> Thursday is Bill Meridian's birthday, and uh, the 25th, and he's going to be our guest on Monday. I'm going to have a special show. I'm going to be talking about uh, that book on the Quran and the numbers from my friend um, Juan Basar over in the UK. I met him many years ago, about 25 years ago. He came to visit me for a week. He ended up spending two weeks with me, and uh, it was really we become very, very good friends uh, through the years. In fact, every year except this last year, we've uh, he's invited Sarah and I to go over and spend a week or two. Uh, with he and his family, and it's always a lot of fun. He, his second home is Istanbul, and gosh, he knows that like uh, the back of his hand. Anyway, that's what we'll be talking about, because I wanted to go through some of the numbers. When I was doing the show today with All Star Charts, these folks, they you know they understand the Fibonacci number. They don't know where it came from, how the sequences go, you know, 3, 2, the square root of that is 6, 1, 8, all that stuff. They, they, they've, never, they've never visualized that to see how it's all interrelated. And so I said, you probably ought to look at that because that's what Ben Bob Mandelbrot did when he did his fractal analysis stuff. And of course, they knew about fractals, but they had never heard of Ben Bob Mandelbrot. And he's the father of fractal analysis. In fact, he was the one that was you know, promoting it so much, and then he passed away during the time he was supposed to be getting the award for uh, Nobel Prize uh, in uh, economics okay now this is uh, IBM long-term weekly you can see here we've had this big move right here uh, measured to about basically 191 the high was uh, 198 no, uh, no yeah 198 so it was only off by eight dollars it's backed off nothing folks look at this how many weeks it's been here it's done nothing I mean this is a very very been very very bullish stock big gain in here right here so this is the kind of thing that – remember this – I remember Warren Buffett, I, as I recall, and I don't follow Buffett that much. He gave up on IBM way back in here somewhere because it was never uh, – yeah, somewhere in this area here, he just gave up on it, that it was not, not, not moving enough. Well, <laughs> he made up for that. So that's IBM. Okay, one other uh, stock that uh, we've been asked to look at today is the – hold on one second, and we'll be able to get it here um, – all right, one second here. Uh, Archer Daniels Midland again, and also Eli Lilly, believe it or not. Somebody uh, wants to see Eli Lilly. Folks, I just cannot believe how much – oh, we're going to hit our number here. We're almost there in the old uh, – it's going to bring here in just a minute. Okay, here's a, 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 there's Archer Daniels Midland. It's already hit the 3A2, backed off a little bit. Uh, here, was, here was the buy right here. And, of course, there was your first objective and, you know, kept going higher and higher. So now we're going to look at Lilly. Uh, folks, when I go to the pharmacy over here uh, to pick up my uh, – I get a prescription for uh, allopurinol because I have a tendency to 
about once every two or three months I have a gout. And so allopurinol cures the gout. And I wanted to just show you this stock here, Lily. But the prices of some of these medications, folks, is 6000 to $10,000 per month. The ones that are advertised on the show, uh, the TV, Jardians, and uh, uh, what I, allergy drugs and stuff. I mean, I, I went and looked because I did not believe that that's how much they were getting for these things. I mean, the most expensive thing when I worked for Lilly, that was you know, back when Moses was a, a young man, uh, there was four or $500, and that was an antibiotic that it was only administered into the hospital to people that were dying. And, a, you know, a prescription that cost over $100, uh, you, you can see here, look at this. I, when I started to work for Lilly, it was 30 bucks a share. Now, it hasn't split. I think it's split about four times, but still – it, uh, I had a few shares, but I sold those many years ago. Anyway, this is a, there's your ABCD here on Lilly. There's the high back in March. We rallied up, came right down, stopped exactly where it should have, and right now we're in the midst of, a, midst of another rally, just another ABCD. And as you look at this again, you see it here. There's we are, your AB equals CD pattern right there that lines it up right on the money. So that's it. Now let's get back to the thing that I want to see because that's what I think is important today to get rid of Archer Daniels Midland here and uh, where are you oh we're there gosh look at this boys and girls we are so close it's like uh, let's just move this up here look at this we are within within 19 points can you believe only 19 points of hitting that thing and of course my hope is that it'll go blasting through and that'll make the S&P and everything else go you know screaming to the upside but if it doesn't, and this is only a 382 after a three, four day rally like we're seeing in here, you see what I mean? This is a clean it up because this is this is super important, folks. This is well, everything's important, but what do we know? Yeah. <laughs> Here's where we are. You'll see. You go back to the high that we made way back here. We'll just use this high because it's the same one. Middle of March. There's your high. There's your low. And that number comes in right there. Well, that says it's 46. Why did I have it? You know, it's probably this is off by a little bit. Yeah, the number is the number is uh, 36. That's the exact number that that I've got it marked at. Let's go down to a little bit of a mini chart here. Let's see what we got here. Ah, there we are, 1.618 right now. This is uh, very interesting. And what do we do? We have right at the 382 one. 17624, 17624, we just hit 17625. So if you start popping above here, you know where we're going. That means it's going to go a lot higher because just looking at this right now, there's your AB leg, there's your CD leg. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. That's it. Now it can pop through there, you know, in fact, it's just hit it. Just hit 26 just now. Massive sell-off to 26.24. Shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Anyway, that's that has completed that. So let's see if the um, if the S and P has done anything because it was a sell. You sold it at 08, and uh, it's actually got a little bit above it here by just a little bit, and uh, that's a little bit higher here. And uh, what else we have? The Russell. Let's see if the Russell has has modified anything and then we'll look at that this is what i do folks and i you know since you pay good money to listen to me or you don't okay there it is right here let's get this up on the hourly because that's what we were watching and we were still right there within eight points of the exact 382 of this move uh, way back in here so hopefully we're going to continue going up and there's not going to be any really thing nasty happening now but later, I think it could happen. But eventually, uh, I have to renew myself and say, maybe this is a major bottom in this bull market, and we can go a whole lot higher. That's what could happen. So we're going to find that out. Now, let's take a quick look and see if uh, anything's happening with our crude oil. Uh, nope. Oh, just get rid of this right here. And it's, well, it's, uh, it's only moved three points against us, so that's a good sign. Anyway, we'll be right back, 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, a final little commercial. I'm going to be doing the second of the, well, that's the eighth one we've done, second one we're doing this month, Friday. That'll be uh, from 9 o'clock until 12 o'clock. We had a really good run on the 12th of April. Uh, we've shown you, you know, examples of that. Whether that's going to what's happening to us on Friday, I don't know, but there's always some good little ABCD patterns around if you search for them, and that's what my job is. So I try to find the ones that look the best and that's the ones I try to go with so hope you can join us we try to make at least what you're paying for it which is $250 a month we made uh, 13 times that in the last one but that was one of those days where you know everything was going but you know we had one of those days in gold yesterday where the market just rallied and bang down rallied you know just tremendous long-term trend you know when you're looking at it on a daily uh, intraday it's a very very long downtrend from 20 what the high was, it opened at 24.06 uh, and it went all the way down to 23.10. Uh, 23 uh, 23.05 was the low today. So it was down $150. And it's still acting relatively well because it's, you know, it didn't go down any lower than that, which is a, that's usually a pretty good thing to, when you see that happen. So those are the things that we're watching here today. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless and try to do something nice for your neighbors, folks. Because believe me, not everyone is as fortunate as we are. So I think it's important that we, we keep that in mind. And I think I have someone is going to be answering asking a question. 
We've got a whole whole minute left. Oh, my goodness, I didn't realize. I don't think we do. My, my clock on my wall says I've only got 40 seconds left. Sorry, Al, I'll just I'll give you a little heads up that next week I'm going to be talking on Monday about the book, the Quran, and how these numbers fit in with trading. And then on uh, Tuesday, uh, we're going to have Stan Harley as our guest on uh, the 30th. And uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week, I'm not sure what's going but remember folks the first saturday in may is coming up here this coming a week from this saturday when we have the kentucky derby and i'm your go-to man to pick out the winner of the kentucky derby i've been doing them for 72 years i've had two winners so every 35 years and folks i'm due my last one was 1987 that's i had a couple in between but this is not 